All right, well, good evening, Brook Hill faculty, staff, parents, family, friends, and the Brook Hill School graduating class of 2016. Uh, I know we're all tired of hearing my dad give speeches, and now his son is about to give one, but just one last time. Anyway, um, here's my speech. If life is represented by the days of the week, the first day, Monday, being birth and preschool, and the following Sunday being retirement, this senior year of high school has been the evening hours of Tuesday. Tuesday was an extremely full day. We awoke grabbing our cartoon lunch boxes and backpacks, excited about beginning kindergarten, and tonight we will fall into bed, dropping our high school graduation cap, gown, and diplomas onto the floor. Wednesday is the college years, the hump day, before entrance into the real world, which consists of the remaining days of the week. Tuesday evening has been filled with a mix of emotions, from excitement to fear, mainly surrounding the questions of where, what, and how Wednesday will be spent. I lost my place. Oops. We have been given this amazing gift of Tuesday to prepare us for Wednesday, because obviously, these two days will greatly impact Thursday through Sunday. As Tuesday night comes to a close, all of us are looking forward to Wednesday. But for a moment, we stop to look back over everything we experienced and accomplished in just one day. Each of us began our morning somewhere other than, other than Brook Hill because the school didn't even have a lower school until we were in second grade. Seven of us here tonight were a part of that second grade class that began in the church across the street. Julia Troxell, Charlie Niles, Morgan Moss, Mason Cudd, Caden Wofford, Austin Savage, and me. We studied rigs, dressed up as great Americans in the, in the, for the Wax Museum, and ended the year with a grand ball. As the morning continued through the lower school grades, we added to our numbers and promoted from fifth grade to middle school with a trip to Houston, spending the night on a battleship where we slept in extremely tight quarters. Middle school was a big transition as we each began to, to find ourselves and our gifts were affirmed and our potential challenged especially while diagramming sentences in Mrs. Bunn's humanities class. <laughs> the middle of the day moved into, into afternoon with a spark trip to Washington, D.C. in eighth grade and watching our class, classmates show off their dance moves on the harbor cruise. The sun was high and hot in the afternoon as our high school years began, which were full and intense as we became, as we became more involved in the academics, the arts, and athletics. We began winning individually and as a class or team, such as orchestra state champions, softball making it to the state tournament, and baseball still in pursuit of a state title. Our friendships grew, but at lunch we still sat in our groups, never even thinking about crossing over to have boys and girls sit together. <laughs> Those years were filled with, with teachers, coaches, the principal, and the headmaster challenging us to pursue Christ and use our gifts for his glory. The heat of the day was ending, and the sun began to descend as we began our senior year. Like the sun, we too seemed to relax, preparing to close one day of life and begin another. We loosened up, each becoming more comfortable with ourselves and one another. We started Tuesday evening with our senior trip to Catalina Island, where we swam, hiked, worshipped, and rode on rocks chosen carefully from the millions on the beach. We were challenged with a verse from 2 Timothy 1.7, for God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. That trip impacted all of us as we made new friends with classmates we had been in school with for years. The year was fast, was full, fast, and furious as we tried to juggle the various things we had to do, such as apply to colleges, write essays, take hundreds of tests, practice sports and other extracurricular activities, and pray for God's clear plans regarding tomorrow, Wednesday. <clears throat> Coincidentally, we finished this senior year with the musical Fiddler on the Roof with Chipper Adams starring in the lead role. During one scene in the play, the parents, Tevya and his wife, sing Sunrise, Sunset, which aligns with, its, with this analogy of life being like the days of the week and how much has changed in one single day. They realize their children have grown up and they ask themselves, is this the little girl I carried? Is this the little boy at play? I don't remember growing older. When did they? When did she get to be a beauty? When did he grow to be so tall? Wasn't it yesterday when they were small? Then the chorus sings, sunrise, sunset, 
sunrise, sunset, swiftly fly the years, one season following another, laden with happiness and tears. Tevya and his wife become anxious and wonder if they have taught these children everything they need to know to be prepared for their future. What words of wisdom can I give them? How can I help to ease their way? Tonight, our parents, and even our teachers, are wondering the same things. I want to suggest that we, as the Brook Hill School Class of 2016, have been given many words of wisdom that will help to ease our way. Many thanks tonight to our parents, our teachers, and our school. We have been very well prepared. We are ready for tomorrow. And I look forward to how God will use us, use us in the many different ways and different places he has prepared for us for the remaining days left in this week we call life. And I'm going to end the same way that my dad did. I didn't know that he was doing the same thing. But, um, every night since I can remember, my dad has come, come into my room to bless me and give me a challenge and a charge. I would like to close by blessing our class with these words from the book of Numbers and then challenging us with what has become known as the guard charge. If life is like the days of the week, with today being Tuesday, I ask God's blessing on our remaining days and our week of life. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you all the days of your life. May the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. And finally, may I remind you, challenge you, and charge you with my dad's words. Live pure, speak true, right wrong, serve others, follow the king. God bless you. Brookfield Class of 2016.